Good morning. Happy Thursday, Conestoga. Mr. S coming to you from his Sabudio studio. Yeah, as you know, it's a whole other blog. All right, it is Thursday. It's our penultimate Thursday of our school year. Um, and I can't wait to get down to work today. I feel like we're going to get a lot accomplished today. Happy National Waiters and Waitresses Day. And what an interesting holiday to be celebrating this year, considering right now with our lockdown situation, most of our waiter and waitress friends... Uh, are unemployed so my heart goes out to those folks and uh, if there are and when we do finally reopen restaurants i cannot wait to see you again because uh, one of my favorite things and one of mrs s's favorite things to do is go out to eat so uh the reason we do like that is because of you folks who make our dining experience so special those of you who are younger, who have never given a waiter or a waitress a tip, uh, a tip is a very important part of their job. Uh, a great way to figure that out is to do your math and understand percents. Um, if you ever have a question about that, I have a surefire way of making sure that uh, my tip is awesome. Okay, uh, emails, thanks so much. Uh, Madeline, Sarah, Alex, Allie, Lexi K, Katie, Morgan, Leo, Willa, and Alina. Thank you so much. Fantastic emails. You know I love them. Thanks for the questions. Thanks for the kind words. And uh, please keep those emails coming. <clears throat> A word about May 26, which is Tuesday from 3.30 to 6.30. You'll be able to swing by Conestoga and pick up your gift bag. Um, when you do come to Conestoga, if, if you would bring one of two things, uh, or two things, Depends how you look at it. If you have something for our time capsule, there, I'll spit it out. Um, please bring that and give that to the people who are going to be collecting that sort of thing. And also your A Long Walk to Water book so that Mr. Mattern and I can teach that book again next year to next year's up and coming sixth graders. Um, May 27th is our graduation a ceremony. A video will drop at about 1.15. Mrs. Baker will make sure that's up and running. And as far as I understand, you'll be able to make your own copy of that eventually and um, be able to store that in your computer or wherever for as long as you would like. Um, continue to please use my Google Dropbox. If you want to join, it's never too late to join. It's A-W-B-X-Q-H-X -X in our Google Classroom. Please join. We'd love to have you. Uh, Madeline, uh, thank you for your, those amazing pictures of the garden. I kept them up. They're still down there. And Harvey the Otter, thank you so much, Katie, for sharing in our Dropbox. That was super kind of you. Writing, be sure that you are in our writing for this week, which is May 18th to the 22nd assignments, and make sure that you accomplish one of the three. I'm very much looking forward to the the sports animals. I've been getting a lot of those in, and those look like a lot of fun. Uh, everything you need to complete your writing assignment, of course, is in our Google Classroom. Reading, see Mr. Mattern's Google Classroom for reading. Everything you need is there. Password is up. It's running. It's good to go. It's chapters 12 and 13, and you have three plays today from 10 to 10, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m., and uh, let's see who our new password champions are going to be. Uh, the game code is 6770289. And if you don't want to listen to me, go ahead and just look down below. Everything you need to get joining in our game this week is down there. Um, who's going to be our, Google, our, our new champions this week? We will find out. I can't wait to see. America's second favorite game, a password. Maths, you have five choices. Please complete two of the five choices this week. Uh, don't be afraid to ask for help. I've been getting a lot of questions lately, and yesterday's Google Hangout was very helpful, especially when we were talking about shape of distribution and that sort of thing. So don't hesitate to get a hold of me today or tomorrow, and uh, as we're turning in work, please check it to make sure that my comments reflect your amazingness. There is a quizzes up and running. Actually, there's two. And to get credit for quizzes this week, you have to play both of those games. Uh, one's about line plot and one's about histograms. I'm not so sure that you're going to need to uh, have a calculator. Never hurts to have one handy. And uh, you might want to write some things down as you're proceeding through that game. Uh, good luck if you're playing that. And uh, please 
you have three plays for both of those games. And if you would please be done by 8 a.m. tomorrow so I can crown champions for both games. Science, there are three choices. Please pick one. They're all available to you in our Google Science Classroom. Um, I'd love to see more projects like Bose and Leo's. Fantastic work. They sent uh, great photos of their balloon cars. And actually, Leo's video of a balloon car was really cool, too. Um, also, independent science projects are more than welcome. Madeline has started a hydroponic garden, and that is a super cool uh, project that she is up and, and doing um, that more than easily takes care of her science project for this week. Social studies, uh, please check out Mr. Mattern's Social Studies Google Classroom. Everything you need to complete this week is there. Um, and what about next week? Next week's going to be a little bit different because you know I have to have your grades done by Tuesday, which means that next week's assignments are going to be a little bit more optional. Um, we're going to call them culminating activities. And right now there's one up and running. The one that I love and I've already received a whole bunch of work um, is writing a sixth grade survival guide. Let next year's people know uh, how to survive or maybe even how to uh, manipulate might be a better word. Mr. Matter and myself. Um, please do that as creative as you like. Make a video. Um, had a whole bunch of Google Slides come in. Maybe you want to make a, a blog page or a web page. Uh, however you want, but please, whatever work you want to turn in, please use our Google Classroom. You will find all everything you need for that culminating activity in our writing classroom. So check it out there. Before speaking of checking out, make sure that you're checking out our Sapphire accounts and making sure that you have everything turned in as we approach the end of school here. Thank you so much, everyone, man. You really have been doing a great job in turning all your work in in Google Classroom. That is fantastic. That's going to come in very handy for you next year, too, because I know in middle school, almost all the teachers use that. My schedule today, I am yours almost all day. Um, I have no meetings. This is unbelievable. Beep, 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 beep. I am so happy about that, that I'll just be able to work with sixth graders today. That's my joy. So from 9 to 12, go ahead, get a hold of me. Ask me questions. It could be math. It could be science. Whatever you need, let me know. Um, I am going to take lunch with Poppy the guinea pig today from 12 to 12.30. Can't get a hold of me then, sorry. But then from 12.30 to 3.30, I'm all yours again. Please don't hesitate to get a hold of me. Well, there you go. That's Thursday on this uh, beautiful, beautiful May 21st. Hopefully you get some work done in the morning and get out there this afternoon. Enjoy the beautiful weather. Until I see you again, please stay healthy, stay strong, be kind, and be Conestoga proud. Missing you guys, and take care. Bye-bye.